Hello guys, this is Gabi Tech. Today I'll present you how I clean thermal paste on my old i7 processor. For the sake of it, I will use two special solutions from Arctic Clean, one number one thermal material remover and number two thermal surface purifier. For the sake of it, I will use these special cotton buds that are just cotton buds, but they will do a very good job. And this syringe with my leftover thermal paste that I have inside. You can see on this processor that I drilled it a little bit for the fun of it. On the next video, I'll present you how I lap it with a special paper. Now I'll open the syringe and apply a little bit thermal paste on the processor. It's a little bit hard. As you see guys, I don't have enough thermal paste left. Even though I thought I have, I don't see anything almost left. But it will be enough for the sake of cleaning, I think. I'll squeeze a little bit more to see if I... I get little, little, but I feel like the material inside hardened. And it's hard to squeeze. a bit hard i use most of it my computer but it's still there is something you can see normally of course you don't apply thermal paste like this but this is just for the sake of you to show how i clean it okay now we'll start with the cleaning let's close the syringe even though there is nothing left inside i thought it is because on the light i i thought it is but i think the material inside is hardened as i said now we will start with the first solution, thermal material remover. Okay, we will read the instructions and now apply exactly how the instructions are saying. We get several drops and we saturate the thermal pad with it. Now we put it everywhere. We nice to saturate everywhere. We're being careful on the edges. As you see on the cotton bud, clean. We need to leave it for 30 to 60 seconds. In our case, since the thermal paste is not that much, we will leave it for around 30 seconds. We will close the solution afterwards. It smells very nice lemon, it has good smell, so you should keep it away from children, they may think it's lemon juice. Now I think around 30 seconds pass, we need to wipe it off. You can use a piece of paper, but for the more precision I use the cotton bud. Okay, we managed to do it. 
there is almost nothing left from the solution. Here we took a sponge to make it faster and more precise. Okay, we're done. Now we use solution number two when we want to prepare our surface for thermal interface material or for another portion of thermal paste. The instructions are we remove to the thermal mating surface and wipe gently with cloth or with our cotton but to drop the gantry. We close it of course. And now we gently rub the surface. It's like a coloring picture. You should never go out of the line. Do you know guys, the first time when I built my computer, I applied too much thermal paste and the temperature wasn't amazing. And afterwards I had to do water cooling maintenance. And just for the sake of it, I decided just to open my processor again. And I saw the excessive amount of thermal paste that I put the, last, the first time because I was doing it with a friend of mine. And apparently he was too spastic or I don't know. And he put more thermal paste than usually it's normal to put like normal amount and spread it nicely everywhere not put uh, one big bulge of thermal paste and close it that way but i don't know i don't speak with him anymore but uh, i think i don't know guys is he was he, he jealous or i don't know but he put so much thermal paste that uh, basically the uh, water cooled computer was giving so high temperatures and the games were crashing and i was like what What's wrong with this? Then I had to open it, remove, clean the thermal paste that way, and you know, that's it. The surface is perfectly clean with Arti Clean, the best thermal paste remover ever. Now the surface is ready to apply a new portion of nice thermal paste and close it and put the processor into the computer. This processor is from 2009, but I'm sure it still gives very good performance even in this year. Because it's i7, back in the day it was costing like $400. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And on the next video, I'll present you how I love this processor. So I prepare myself, it's like a training for the next processor, my i9, that I will lap nicely and I'll get more sanding paper because the one that I have now is not fine enough. I have only 120, 60 and 80 diameter. But on the next, for the next video that I will do with the i9, I will take special set with so f up to 5000 so I can give you the ultimate shine. Thank you very much.